Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You may have noticed that I am pulling over some videos from my old channel to this channel, and I wanted to pull this particular video over because it is my favorite organization and project that I've ever done. I splurged and bought some of the clear acrylic bins, and it just turned out so nice. This was done about a year or a year and a half ago, maybe even longer, I'm not certain, but I've kept it clean and organized ever since, and I just love how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy this medicine cabinet organizational video. I did was just remove everything from the shelves and then wipe the shelves down. I put all the items on my island just so that I could kind of get everything out in one place and tell what all I had. Now, I do love that the containers for these shelves were closed containers. I feel like having a confined space for certain items is nice to know like what you can keep and what you need to get rid of. So like we have this small container and once that's full, I either need to quit buying or get rid of some stuff if I bring new things in. Now I also had some clear open containers that I put on the top shelves that were for the taller items. I went through and threw out a lot of expired vitamins that I had on hand and I also tossed the boxes to my children's medicine, a lot of their little small medicine bottles I still had inside of the cardboard boxes and so taking those away helped to save some space for me as well. Now I also had a couple of items such as some Tums that came in like a dual pack but they were both open and half empty so I conserved some space by putting a few of those items together in one container. So when I did this project originally it was kind of um, on my journey to be a little bit more minimal in my life. And I definitely just have learned over the years that I really enjoy less things. And instead of fighting against that, I finally decided to embrace that. And I've just found a lot of freedom in allowing myself to be who I am and just have less things. So I do have junk and clutter in my home. And this video was the start of me trying to minimize that last year. And I did a little bit, but I still have a lot more that I need to do in the kitchen that I'm definitely gonna be doing this year going forward. finding this medicine cabinet organizational video motivating and it's inspiring you to get started on a project you've been avoiding around your house like i said i have a lot more of these projects coming so if you're not subscribed already make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on any of the great videos that i have coming up so i did notice that the metamucil powder and this calm powder that i had were both like expired back in 2018 and part of my minimalizing of my life is kind of realizing that we hold on to things out of guilt. Maybe it costs a lot of money, but really the money has already been spent. And I did mention this to you guys in my pantry video as well, but it's just something that I am constantly learning about myself 
and something that the more I embrace it, the better I feel. I don't have guilt letting things go. Again, I do struggle with it from time to time, but the more I practice it, the easier I find that it becomes. So I also realized that I had mistakenly left out this entire container of uh, painkillers, like ibuprofen, Tylenol, all of that kind of stuff. And this little bucket here, the clear one, was filled with ear care and Neosporin. So I figured I could go ahead and move the antiseptic Neosporin type creams to where my band-aids were and then put the ear care in the bathroom because that stuff is rarely used. And it made sense for the antibiotic creams to be with the band-aids. My best to always be there. And I want you to know that I'm lost without you. I'm not without you. I hope I can't show what you mean to me. Cause I don't know what to do. watching today's video i hope you really enjoyed it i hope it motivated and inspired you to get something done around your home give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe if you're not already thank you so much if you are already subscribed i love my little community that i'm building here on youtube and i hope you guys are really enjoying the content and will continue to follow along